the goods have been secured for today's project. We are going to head off to the shop and get started with it. That's over there right now. And before we start anything, and while it's low light in here, look at that sparkle boy. Yes, you do look good. Gotta wait for the lights to turn on in here. Winter. What is going on guys? Today we're here at the garage. We're gonna be working on the Mazda 3 again. Watch last video about the coilovers. I pulled the front coilovers and at the end of the video I mentioned that the interior and the engine bay of this car needs love. We're gonna get kind of started on that. So I had this idea of uh, touching up some things on this interior and I'm kind of stuck. I want your guys' opinion or just comment down below what you guys think. The two options I'm thinking of right now. Get rid of the purple door card. Do them in like this a black suede. Sooner or later, once I get the time, I want to switch out all my door panels with the pian OEM piano black. So that would be this, steering wheel buttons. Um, so this in black, maybe, just maybe a black with purple stitching. I think for the shift setup, I want to do a purple shift knob and a black shift boot. Um, and yeah, I want to get this seats uh, re-upholstered as well because I mean, the Mazda Speed seats have nice bolstering, so I genuinely don't think I'll ever do buckets in this car. But I'd like to get the Speed seats reupholstered and look a bit better. Other than that, what do you guys think? If I should kind of change the colors up a bit, but today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be going after a couple pieces, which are going to be these vents. I want to paint the rings on these vents, and we're also going to paint the gauge rings right here, and what we're gonna do that in glossy black. I did it on the Beater Mazda 3 uh, in the summertime. I didn't do the rings though because I have tweeters <laughs> where those vents are, so what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna show you Mazda boys how to pull these out because these are fun, and uh, I'm gonna pull that out. I picked up some vinyl and fabric, glossy black paint, some glossy clear coat, and some sandpaper to make them look all nice. It's incredibly cold today, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in the cold weather. Still snow outside. But without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, might as well get started with this. Once we're done this, I also have a surprise, so make sure you stay tuned because it's gonna be sweet. Grab some needle nose pliers and head to the car. And one second. If you guys are looking for comfortable, great merch, support my boys over at McGillRacingDivision.com. We got Mazda 3 merch, and we're gonna do some collab shirts too, so stay tuned for those. Check out the website, check out the Instagram. Boom, sweet. Anyways, in order to take these out, <laughs> pretty straightforward. So, you guys look in here, okay? You need to locate the bottom. There's some hexagon shapes at the top, so you just look at the way this is. So flip it up, boom, this is your bottom. There are three little tabs. Can't pull the middle one, okay? Take my needle nose, grab one of the side ones. You see that? That's not the middle one, that's the side one. None of them broke. I've seen people grab the middle one and I've seen that one snap because it's so skinny. You can see when you look in there, the ones on the sides are a bit more thicker than the one in the middle, so. Yeah, so this one, <laughs> this one I've grabbed by the middle because the middle's gone. As you guys can see, no metal. Now if you guys wanna see how to take out the gauge rings, uh, check out the other video that I uploaded. Now, generally when it comes to painting stuff, I never show you guys the proper procedure. Neither am I gonna do the same thing today. I always do things wrong. Here I have the rings. Now these I have painted already in matte black. And they have a really good surface on them already because well, I didn't sand down the plastic. If you guys haven't painted these before, like I said, I definitely recommend using this vinyl and fabric stuff. It's worked excellent with the interior stuff. Um, and what we're gonna be doing, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and use this blending kit. Because I've already painted this, it wouldn't be a bad idea either. I'm gonna start with the 320, hit it with the 400, 600, and then 800 to kind of polish it out. Um, and then for these, I'll show you guys how I'm gonna mask. That should be fine for paint to go over. I'm gonna give that a wipe down. Always important to wipe this shit down, man. I'm gonna set this one aside and then I'm going to mask off and sand. I'll start by sanding it. You're not scratching anything that you don't wanna be scratched. And that's something 
or at least somewhat what it should look like. That'll give us a good surface to paint with. I had a little bit of painting problems, but I just finished the base coat on the rings. I was hitting up these rings and they were giving me spots like that. You guys can see it would dry up and then I'd spray over it and then it just became a big mess. And all I'm gonna sand down is with the uh, 320. The computer's fired up. I got it on those two things. Let it warm up in here. And then when I feel it's warm enough, I'm gonna open that door and just pound through the layers. And it should be good. So that was about a 10 minute process. And look how good these babies came out. Actually, that turned out really good. This thing's almost got like no fish eye in it. I think after a certain amount of years, I'm starting to finally learn how to paint. <laughs> these are dry. Ooh, it's a little soft. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the clear, some glossy clear coat. And here we have them, all complete. They turned out pretty good, I'd say. Not too shabby. I'm gonna let them cure up for a bit. These ones are easier to put in because you can push in with the center tabs. This one's a little harder because you actually got to push on the paint. Oh, I almost just scratched it. Yeah, it's still matte inside too. Excellent. There you go. Black gloss. I had matte black before because everything in this car is matte black. There's a reason why I didn't do glossy black before, but I feel now that once this goes piano black, once I get those ring, the ring on over there, I feel like everything will kind of blend a bit better. And if not, totally fine, because I can make those rings another color. I can buy these for cheap at record yards, which I might do when I go to a record yard next and get a couple sets of these and paint them different colors and see which ones I like. And there is the driver's side. It's not like it looks horrible. Like, as you guys can see, it looks a little weird, because this is matte black, not the glossy black. But once this goes matte or gloss of black, then I feel like it will blend. Or at the end of the day, I just jab my finger right in. These rings, maybe I'll try those in purple. I might, I just don't want to get fingerprints all in the clear. The gauge rings and glossy black, even just like by sitting here, I can tell the difference. It is quite dirty up in that area, but uh, it does look better for sure. That glossiness, that sweet, sweet gloss in it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the part that I told you about. Let's bring those bars down and let's hop right into that. And what you guys would have just seen there would have been some gimbal footage. We got a gimbal in on the channel now, and I have not had so much fun ever filming with something. Gimbals are incredible. I am going to be pumping out car edits like all year. I want to learn and have fun with filming that kind of stuff. That's something that I, I, you know, I can do. I, I just, I'm so lazy and I don't want to do it to actually like make something nice. But the gimbal's giving me that motivation again. So hopefully that was okay. The lighting in here sucks. So other than that, guys, that's the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe button, leave a like on the video, comment down below what you guys think about the new color things are starting to you know, add up and make sense. So you know, as further as we go in the summer, hopefully that interior looks a little bit better. Other than that guys, thanks again. Keep it real, I'll see y'all in the next one.